Hi everyone, today we are going to take a look at recreating the Netflix logo. Looks like this. We often make the mistake of thinking that if a logo is made by a big corporation or company that it's really difficult to reproduce, but often the opposite is true. So let's take a look at this logo and see if we can recreate it. I'm going to just move this up to the top. We've got a 1920 by 1080 pixel widescreen slide here. We're going to make the background first, so just take the rectangle tool and recreate the background. And use the color picker to make it black, or just to make it the same color. I'm going to press Command and 2 to lock that background. I'll bring this back down. Um, and use Command and the right bracket, uh, the, the curly braces, to bring it forward. Using the font Baybass, I think it's pronounced Baybass or Bebass, who knows, it's my favorite font at the moment, which conveniently fits perfectly with Netflix. We're going to write Netflix in our text. We're going to make it a lot bigger. We'll change the color just to any old red for now and change the font to Baybass. Okay, so that gives us something pretty close. We'll just make it a bit bigger here. Uh, I'll use the align tool up here to center it. And then the key bit with this logo is the envelope distort. So if we go to object, envelope distort, make with warp. We, want, we don't want arc, we want arc lower. And we want to make it bend in the minus figure. It's about minus eight, it's probably good. So we'll click OK. Look, there you go. It already looks quite a lot like the Netflix logo. We'll just recreate the shadows underneath. So we'll use an ellipse tool and go the length of the slide here. And we'll just copy that color to make it a light gray. But we need to stylize it. So we're going to go to Effect, Stylize, Feather. I like to use the preview here because it's hard to tell when you've got it right. So we'll just increase it till it looks kind of good. Yeah, 80 pixels probably is about right. And then we'll just do the same thing. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. So we'll just close that. And then we'll do the same thing underneath uh, the Netflix logo, but probably with slightly less of a feather on black. I'll make it a bit thinner than that, maybe about that. And we'll align that to the center. And we'll change the color to black and just add a new feather. So uh, effect feather, because we've just used it and we'll have to make it a lot lower. So maybe about 30 pixels. Okay. Well, it's not quite what we want, but you know what? It's close enough. There you have it. The Netflix logo.